The fifth seeded UNH men's basketball team will head to Hartford this weekend to kick off the 2012 America East Championship with a quarterfinal matchup against the number four seed, Albany. The Wildcats entered the tournament having won five of their last six games, including a 69-64 win at home against the Great Danes on February 9th that started the team's first four-game winning streak since the 05-06 campaign. The Cats secured the fifth spot and a rubber match with Albany by defeating Binghamton 58-49 in the regular season finale at Lundholm. I think any time that you win, you feel good about yourselves. You, you, I think you have some confidence, but uh, you know when you go into a tournament, especially in a league like the America East, where it's a one-bid league, it's it's now one and done. And and what I'm trying to tell our guys is on Saturday at 2:15 against Albany, you know we have to be prepared to play as well as we possibly can because there's no tomorrow. We're, we're pretty confident. You know? We've been playing pretty good basketball the last month, month and a half of the season, you know, coming up with some, a lot of wins lately and, and predicated on our defense. So if we do what we got to do, we feel pretty confident that we'll do well in the conference tournament. Pacing the Cats offensively are guards Alvin Abreu and Chandler Rhodes. Rhodes is second on the team in scoring, while Abreu sits 15 points away from becoming New Hampshire's second highest scorer of all time. He poured in 21, tying his season high in a February 9th five-point win against the Great Danes. As consistent a player as I've coached, he's the same every single day in practice, never takes a day off. Um, and, and I think the reason he's playing better right now the second half of this year is, you know, he had the ACL injury last year. And I think and a lot of people have told me that it takes, it takes players about a year to come back from an ACL. First half of this year, I don't know if he was totally healthy. Now I think he's healthy and he's playing great basketball. And that's what you want from your seniors. I mean, our seniors are playing really well right now. On Saturday afternoon, the Cats will look to build upon their recent success and contain Albany's Gerardo Suero, who averaged 18 and a half against New Hampshire in the team's two meetings during the year. You know, Albany's an extremely talented offensive basketball team. Uh, Suaro, uh, I think, leads the league in scoring. is one of the top five to ten scorers in the country. Very tough to defend. You can't really guard him with one guy. It's got to be really a team effort. You have to kind of converge on him. They're a tough team. You know, Albany is very respectable. You know, that we respect them a lot. We respect their big team, their tall team. They have probably the best scorer in the league in, in, in Suero. So we have to really rely on our defense and, and carry out the defensive game plan.